Hello friend, uh, in this video we will learn how we can integrate our Excel spreadsheet with the coingeeko.com and bring all the cryptocurrencies prices live on our Excel spreadsheet for our analysis purpose, for our record purpose and this is the directly integrated with the website and you will learn it in your few minutes uh, all you need to do is to watch this video till the end uh, and learn the techniques and through this techniques you will be able to integrate other website as well to get the meaningful data in your excel spreadsheet before we start if you do not subscribe my channel please subscribe now and press the bell icon so you keep getting this amazing videos every time so let's start okay so let's get it started uh, in order to integrate our Excel worksheet spreadsheet with the coingeeko.com to import the fresh uh, the cryptocurrencies prices, uh, our first step will be uh, on this on this main menu. We will going in a data tab. In a data tab, there is a get external data. We will click on it. We will click on from web. When we get a new web query. What we will do, we will enter the CoinGecko website, which is www.coingecko.com. Make sure you have active internet connection. And you will click on go. If you get this error, you will click on yes, yes, and you will keep pressing yes until this prompt gets out. Okay, so now you see this page is completely loaded and your data is already there. At the very uh, top of the corner, you are seeing this, the right arrow button. You will click on this arrow button. It will it will be changed as a check mark, and then you will click on import. When you click on import, what system will do? System will integrate your Excel spreadsheet with the website, and here it is asking you, okay, from where you want to import this data. So. I will gonna do I will keep my cursor here and then I will click on a1 so I'm telling the Excel okay bring the data and paste in a a1 position and press ok and now you have to wait you can see at the bottom status bar that running a background query so system now uh, integrating your data uh, your Excel spreadsheet with the data on a coingeeko.com and fetching the information when you do this step uh, excel automatically make a connection between uh, the spreadsheet and the data so you don't need to repeat the step again this is the one time activity so once you get this data you can see that everything has been fetched here in a very low form you can keep scrolling down and down and down uh, until you get uh, the prices okay so when you go on the row 548 here you find okay here you get some prices but it is still not in a very good order so in order to bring that information in our way in our format so we can always uh, see information in a more cleaner environment what i need to do when i came to here uh, i will copy these headings i don't need this last seven days charts just I need this hiring from the hash to the market cap. I will copy them and I'm going to make a new spreadsheet, right? And here I name it as uh, uh, crypto prices, crypto prices. And I paste my headings here, right? Here I'm going to extend my columns. Uh, I will centralize them and so uh, as per my desired formatting i'll bring uh, the headings accordingly now what i need to do i will give a serial number why i'm giving this serial number i'll let you know sooner uh, so i just copy it sorry i just copy it and make it a one additional and i have 100 prices on a coin kigo right so i am going to paste it till i get the result till the hundred okay keep pasting it and to 798 99 and 100 here uh I, okay 
so now I have the list of a uh, serial number from 1 to 100 at this point why I need this I need this because I have something which I can use to fetch my information from this raw data you can see they are in a serial number position so what I need to do now uh, I will make a serial number here as well 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 right now I will use a formula called VLOOKUP in a VLOOKUP I am saying that I am going to look up a value which is 1 right and I am going to freeze this cell by the column okay now I will press the comma and it's asking me okay where is your table so my table is basically starting from the column B and going all the way from the column I and I will freeze this position and now I am going to do what I will go back on my crypto prices and I'm going to say okay I need to pick the second column right I can remove this uh, and I just give the position of d5 okay so this is the second position this is the third position the fourth position right so I'm going to freeze my row 5 now and then I will press 0 to get an exact match and then I will close the bracket and press enter so I got a Bitcoin right and you can see my information is coming here and but one thing I'm noticing that uh, the B is smaller E is smaller which uh, is not looking very good so in my same formula which is my VLOOKUP formula what I'm doing I'm adding one more uh, formula which is called PROPER the PROPER is capitalized uh, the first letter of each alphabet the first alphabet of each letter right so I just made a proper so now B is become capital so I need to do what I need to just make the, the whole selection right till I just select my whole table from the row from uh, the serial 1 till the serial 100 and then I will paste it as a formula and you can see all the information has been fetched here right now I can do what I can just apply a formatting as a comma right and here I'm seeing that okay this is coming as a text why it's coming as a text because I use a proper here as well so I don't need a proper here I just need a proper in my uh, the text they are numbers no proper needed here I just remove it okay so now I can use my comma and I can remove uh, these two decimals for my volume and the market cap and I can bring these two decimals here uh, I can enhance this even okay as per my desire accordingly right so this is my one hour change and two hour change accordingly uh, so I can select all of them and I can make a conditional formatting I say highlight if it is greater than zero it means it's a positive change i will show it as a cream and i will apply the conditional format for the less than zero it means red because it's a negative change right and i can make it as a percentage as well okay so these are my percentages right so this is my change accordingly uh these are my the prices accordingly and these are my market caps uh i can now make it as a table uh, I can create them okay I can smaller size them I can reduce the size of it mm -hmm. I can reduce the size as well this is my supporting column I can simply hide it okay and I can hide the grid lines right and what I need to do I will go and insert and picture I already have a logo of a coin geeko right and which of course you can download from the internet so I just put my logo uh, the coin geeko logo at the top okay and here at the right side I can call it as a live live crisis right so 
I just enhances pressure. So I can I have a very good uh, preview now of, for my all the live prices, and I can freeze the sponge by going in a view. And here you I can scroll okay all my prices accordingly and of course I can refresh it by simply going on this data tab since my connection is already created with a point deco I need to do what I just need to refresh it before refresh it uh, this is raw data and I don't need uh, to see myself so I can simply hide it it will stay there uh, for my requirement I just click on refresh button and you can see that system is running background query again and system will update this information in a live environment right so you can have this information on your excel spreadsheet you can drive the graphs and information uh, from this information accordingly the way you like it you can further format it according to your desire i hope you like this video uh, if you like it please do subscribe my channel and let me know uh, what features or what uh, special features of excel you especially want to learn in my upcoming video so i'll be keep considering that and making the video accordingly thank you so much and have a good day